So let me set the stage for you a little bit with my conversation with Brock Purdy after the NFC Championship game. Basically, what happens in these games is that uh, guys, for instance, Brock, in this case, Brock Purdy and Kyle Shanahan, they were very delayed in getting into the press conferences post game because of the celebration on the field. And then they all were in the locker room. And so they didn't even come out till like an hour or so after the game. Uh, so after that happened, then I walked with Purdy to uh, a PR office of the 49ers right across the hall from their locker room at Levi's Stadium. So I sat in there with Brock Purdy for, I think, eight minutes and talked to him a little bit. And I thought that the best way to get into it with him is the way that just to say, man, the last draft pick in college and now you're going to the Super Bowl to play the great Mahomes. So I asked him about that. Here were his thoughts. It's been it's been a roller coaster, really. You know, you have you finish your senior year in college, you get drafted last, um, and you think maybe there's no shot here. To all of a sudden, there is. You made the team. To your backup. To you're getting thrown in. To obviously being one win away from going to the Super Bowl your rookie year. Um, you tear your arm, like, and then you go through the rehab process. You you make it back. Then you go through some good times in the season. You go through some times that are tough with the three losses that we had in a row, the performance on Christmas Day. There's just it's, it's a roller coaster, man. And so um, I've just tried to do my best to take it one day at a time and, and um, be where my feet are at, whether it's going good or not. I'm not defined by my circumstances. And, and more than anything, I just try to have a grateful mindset, and that's allowed me to sort of enjoy this last year and a half. Then I asked him about – the plays that Kyle Shanahan said were basically the differences in the game. And that was three plays in the last 22 minutes of the game that Brock Purdy ran for a total of 52 yards. And he's not a runner. He had only had one 50 yard running game in his entire NFL career to that point, I think 25 games or something. And so talking to him about sort of his strategy of, you know, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, when to take off, I thought was interesting. Yeah, I mean, obviously I dropped back first and, and read the defense. I'm trying to hit my receivers. That's like the point of playing quarterback. Um, but when you know, they do a good job with the coverage or blitzes, and then I see some space in that moment in this game with with, with the, the stakes, like what they're at, and, you know, being in the NFC Championship game, it's like, all right, you got to find a way, man. Um, I know that I'm athletic enough to be able to move the chains and, and to obviously keep it rolling and, and create some juice and momentum for our guys, and, and so that's what I think I did in those moments. It wasn't predetermined or anything. It was just on the fly, um, but like I said, when – we're down like we were, um, and we needed just momentum um, to be able to pull the ball down and, and honestly lower my shoulder a couple times. Like I think it was it was good for our team. And um, you know, looking back on it, man, it was it was just it's part of the game. Um, but it's momentum, and we needed that. So, and so I'll give you one last one of my time with Purdy, and I'm going to include a little bit of me with this and sort of my question to him but it's just a little bit kind of about how Brock Purdy in essence has a great attitude about where he is in the NFL who he is and why his absolute flatliner demeanor really serves him well and I think going into the Super Bowl is really going to serve him well. I remember I sat right in here with you after your first game against Miami, and you and I said to you, uh, you're playing Tom Brady in your first NFL start, and you said, that's cool. He's been playing football longer than I've been alive. And 
I constantly am interested in the fact that nothing really seems to bother you or overwhelm you or you don't make the game too big. But now you're the last pick in the draft and you're playing in the Super Bowl in your second year and the fate of this franchise is on your shoulders. So how do you feel about that? Honestly, like I have, you know, since I've stepped in this whole role um, last year when, when Jimmy went down, it was how can I do my job really well for this team, be consistent. I know I have a really good team around me, got great play calling, great organization. And uh, if I can just do my job well, everything will fall into place how it needs to. And honestly, going into this last game of the season for everyone, that's my mindset too. Um, it shouldn't change. It's not like, all right, I made it to the Super Bowl, now I got to start acting uncharacteristic and make all these crazy plays. It's how can I do my job well? If I need to improvise, I'll improvise. But at the end of the day, find find a way to win, just like we did today. So, be kind of cool to play Mahomes, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be cool. I mean, watching that guy since I was in high school, really, and the way he's uh, taken over the NFL, it's, it's been fun to watch. So, to have an opportunity to go go up against him for Super Bowl, man, doesn't get any better than that. Hey, listen, thank you so appreciate much. Yes, sir. Really appreciate yes, sir. it. I'll Anytime. see you in Vegas. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.